Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. In quantum mechanics and its applications to quantum many-particle systems, notably quantum chemistry, angular momentum diagrams, or more accurately from a mathematical viewpoint angular momentum graphs, are a diagrammatic method for representing angular momentum quantum states of a quantum system, allowing calculations to be done symbolically. More. Specifically, the arrows encode angular momentum states in bra. Ket notation and include the abstract nature of the state, such as tensor products and transformation rules. The notation parallels the idea of Penrose graphical notation and Feynman diagrams. The diagrams consist of arrows and vertices with quantum numbers as labels, hence the alternative term graphs. The sense of each arrow is related to Hermitian conjugation, which roughly corresponds to time reversal of the angular momentum states, C.F. Schrodinger equation. The diagrammatic notation is a considerably large topic in its own right with a number of specialized features. This article introduces the very basics. They were developed primarily by Adolphus Jutzes sometimes, translated as Jutzes in the 20th century. Equivalence between Dirac notation and Jutzes diagrams angular momentum states the quantum state vector of a single particle with total angular momentum quantum number j and total magnetic quantum number m equals j j minus 1, minus j plus 1, minus j, is denoted as a ket j, m. As a diagram, this is a single-headed arrow. Symmetrically, the corresponding bra is j, m. In diagram form, this is a double-head arrow, pointing in the opposite direction to the ket. In each case, the quantum numbers j, m, are often labeled next to the arrows to refer to a specific angular momentum state, Arrowheads are almost always placed at the middle of the line, rather than at the tip, equal signs equal sign, are placed between equivalent. Diagrams, exactly like for multiple algebraic expressions, equal to each other. The most basic diagrams are for kets and bras. Arrows are directed to, or from vertices, a state transforming according to, a standard representation is designated by an oriented line, leaving a vertex. A contrastandard representation is depicted as a line entering a vertex. As a general rule, the arrows follow each other in the same sense. In the contrastandard representation, the time reversal operator, denoted here by T, is used. It is unitary, which means the Hermitian conjugate T equals the inverse operator T minus 1, that is T equals T minus 1. Its action on the position operator leaves it invariant. Tx caret T equals x caret, but the linear momentum operator becomes negative. Tp caret t equals minus p caret, and the spin operator becomes negative. Ts caret t equals minus s caret, since the orbital angular momentum operator is L equals x times p. This must also become negative. Tl caret t equals minus L caret, and therefore the total angular momentum operator J equals L plus s becomes negative. Acting on an eigenstate of angular momentum J, m, it can be shown that Tj m is identical to Tj m equals minus 1 j minus mj minus m the time reverse diagrams for kets and bras are. It is important to position the vertex correctly as forward time and reverse time operators would become mixed up. Inner product the inner product of two states j1 m1 and j2 m2 is j2 m2 j1 m1 equals delta j1 j2 delta m1 m2, and the diagrams are. For summations over the inner product, also known in this context as a contraction, CF tensor contraction sigma mj, mj, m equals 2j plus 1, it is conventional to denote the result as a closed circle labeled only by j, not m. Outer products the outer product of two states j1, m1 and j2. m2 is an operator, j2 m, 2j1, M1 and the diagrams are. For summations over the outer product, also known in this context as a contraction, CF tensor contraction sigma mj, mj, m equals sigma mj, minus mj, minus m equals sigma m, minus 1, 2j minus m, j minus mj, minus m, equals sigma m, minus 1, j minus mj, minus mj, minus m, minus 1, j minus m equals sigma mtj, mj, mt were the result for tj, m was used, and the fact that m takes the set of values given above. 
There is no difference between the forward time and reverse time states for the outer product contraction. So here they share the same diagram, represented as one line without direction, again labeled by J only and not M. Tensor products, the tensor product circle times of end states J1, M1, J2, M2, Jin. Mn is written J1, M1, J2, M2. Jn, Mn J1, Mn J2, M2 Jn, Mn J1, M1. J2, M2 midline horizontal ellipsis Jn, Mn, and in diagram form. Each separate state leaves or enters a common vertex creating a fan of arrows. N lines attached to a single vertex. Vertices and tensor products have signs, sometimes called node signs, to indicate the ordering of the tensor multiplied states. A minus sign minus indicates the ordering is clockwise, and a plus sign plus symbol for anti clockwise. Signs are, of course, not required for just one state, diagrammatically, one arrow at a vertex. Sometimes curved arrows with the signs are included to show explicitly the sense of tensor multiplication but usually just the sign is shown with the arrows left out. For the inner product of two tensor product states, J n, M n, J 2, M 2, J 1, M 1, J 1, M 1, J 2, M 2. J n, M n égale J n, M n. J 2, M 2, J 1, M 1, J 1, M 1, J 2, M 2. J n, Mn equals pi k equals 1 and jk. Mk, jk. Mk, there are n lots of inner product arrows. Examples and applications of diagrams are well suited for Klebsch Gordon coefficients. Calculations with real quantum systems, such as multi electron atoms and molecular systems.